Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rosana. I was just gathering the last few dishes that I need for this recipe because today we are making spaghetti and meatballs. This recipe was a favorite growing up, but we used to use ingredients that we had on hand, which was basically Mexican ingredients, but it just created a beautiful fusion that I want to teach you how to make. Let's get started. Spaghetti and meatballs is a very popular dish, so loved by many. We are incorporating a couple of Mexican ingredients, which will create a wonderful fusion. To make the meatballs, start by removing the crust from three slices of white bread and then dice them into small pieces. Adding soaked bread to the meatballs will add moisture and prevent them from turning tough. In return, you will be rewarded with light, juicy, and tender meatballs. Transfer the bread to a bowl and pour two-thirds of a cup of water and submerge them well. You want them to soak all the water. It will take about five minutes. Meanwhile, in a separate large bowl, combine one pound of ground beef. I'm using ground sirloin and one pound of Mexican pork chorizo. The chorizo comes well seasoned. It's the perfect ingredient to add a boost of flavor. Grate two garlic cloves into the bowl. The chorizo already has some garlic in it. That's why we are doing this amount. Now finally chop fresh parsley and remove the leaves from the stem before chopping. We will need a quarter cup of the prepped herb. Lightly season with salt to your liking. I'm adding half a teaspoon of kosher salt and also add half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. The bread is now completely soaked. Go ahead and break apart and add it into the bowl with the remainder of the ingredients. Next is the cheese. We will need half a cup of grated Parmesan. This cheese is really flavorful and can elevate any dish when added. It is used for a good reason. Go ahead and add to the bowl as well. Lastly, crack an egg into the mixture and using your hands, mix everything until well incorporated. Roll the meat into medium-sized balls. This mix is truly perfect and far from ordinary. Learning how to make it to perfection brings a wonderful feeling of accomplishment. I love everything about it and the soaked bread does make a world of a difference because of how moist and juicy the already crafted meatballs turn out. Once you have them all on a lined sheet pan, place them in the center of an already preheated oven and bake for 15 minutes on a 400 degrees Fahrenheit oven. Ooh, the meatballs are baking. Let's get started on the sauce. We're gonna prep the onion. Finally dice half of a medium white onion and set aside. Also grate four garlic cloves. For this marinara sauce, we will be using 56 ounces of canned whole peeled tomatoes. Transfer to a blender and then puree until smooth. Three minutes before the 15 minute mark, turn the broiler on and set on high. This way they develop some browning on the surface. Remove from the oven when the time's up and look at this. You see that gorgeous color? That's exactly what we wanted when we turned the broiler on. They are not fully cooked yet, but will finish cooking in the sauce. Let's continue making the sauce. In a large pot, heat about three tablespoons of olive oil over medium low heat. Once hot, stir in the onions and when translucent, add in the garlic. Next, we are adding four dry chiles de arbol. Don't worry, this is not gonna make it spicy. It's just gonna add a subtle dash of fragrance and aroma. If you rather not add the chilies, you can omit them as well, your choice. Make sure you keep stirring because you don't want the chilies to burn. 
also add two tablespoons of tomato paste, which will enhance all the flavors already in this dish. Break it apart and add the tomatoes we pureed earlier, plus two bay leaves. Stir everything and allow the sauce to reach a gentle simmer. Carefully add in the meatballs and then partially cover the pot. Let everything simmer for about 40 minutes, making sure you stir as needed. During this time, the meatballs will fully cook and the sauce will thicken. Meanwhile, we have plenty of time to cook the pasta. Bring a generous amount of salted water to a boil and add one pound of spaghetti and cook according to the package instructions until al dente or softer if you prefer it that way. Remove the spaghetti from the water when ready or simply strain but do not rinse it. Make sure you remove some of the pasta water in case it's needed. Let's check on the meatballs. The sauce has thickened beautifully and the meatballs are fully cooked. Remove the bay leaves and chiles de árbol. They have served their purpose. This is the time to add salt to taste. I'm adding two teaspoons of kosher salt. Also adding ground black pepper to taste. And finally, rinse a small bunch of basil leaves, about 30 leaves, and incorporate into the sauce. Stir everything to combine. At this point, you can add the spaghetti straight into the sauce if that's what you prefer. Then remove the pot from the heat. I prefer to transfer some of the sauce into the bowl the pasta is in, then toss and turn to combine. Make sure they are well coated in the rich and flavorful sauce. By the way, if the pasta does try to stick to each other, add a little bit of the pasta water, they should loosen up. I added about four full ladles of the sauce and it coated them just right. We are ready to serve. Ladle some of the sauce on the bottom of the plate. After all, we want plenty to indulge the pasta in. Place a good amount of the pasta over the sauce and place the meatballs around the spaghetti. Oh, and now, grate a generous amount of Parmesan cheese. Add as much as you like. For some color, as well as flavor, sprinkle finely chopped fresh parsley. Additionally, arrange some basil leaves anywhere your inspiration takes you. Fine dining looking meals don't have to be exclusively for fancy restaurants. Get inspired. You can create masterpieces out of food as well. This is gorgeous. Let me show you the inside of these astonishing meatballs. Perfect, juicy, moist, flavorful, and melting your mouth tender. The only thing left to do is taste. Ooh, this looks so so good, I almost didn't want to touch it, but at the same time, I'm so eager to taste it. Decisions, decisions, but we're definitely tasting. We just have to, I mean, come on. <laughs> it's not even a question. I love doing presentations like this. It's really up to you. Let's get some of that sauce. Oh, look at this. Mmm. Oh my God, let's do this. This may get messy, I'm sorry in advance. Mmm, mmm. This is delicious. Truly amazing. And you can make this at home, super easy. Mmm. That basil really comes through. And the Parmesan, it just enhances the dishes overall. It's so good. So, so good. <laughs> 
All right, we've reached the end. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget that you can follow me on all of my social media platforms. Also, if you haven't already done so, feel free to subscribe, like this video, and click the notification bell. Until the next one, what are you doing? Wait, that, that's mine, you can't have that. Jeez, I guess we'll have to share. I'll make me another one.